What up, GeoGers? What up, my RAU family? Um, I haven't been making videos lately. Uh, was a very hectic uh, kill event. Um, UAC was horrible for us. <laughs> Our kill event was uh, yeah, a lot. A lot of stuff happened during kill event. Uh, pretty much, we destroyed another alliance. Don't get me wrong; they did a lot of damage to us, but. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely hurt them a lot more. Um, at one point, I had 1.4 million uh, troops uh, uh, in my sanctuary. And, uh, yeah, I, this is what I have left. But, uh, God, yeah, it's, it's, I still got probably about 30, 40 million, you know, power and troops in there. And uh, yeah, that's that's going to take a little while to, to get back. Um let me uh, go over some uh, some of our stuff that we did. So I think I favorited them. All right. So I posted a video earlier of me getting mega rallied. Um, I dropped the ball. Um, I was so into the fighting and so into everything that I did not record it. That one, I was in my office working on some stuff. And, uh, you know, I get, I get told I'm being, you know, mega and I'm like, Oh, so I jump on my phone and, uh, my phone has, uh, uh, the ability where I knock twice on it and I screen record and I can, and the microphone activate. So I did that and it was just a last minute type thing. Uh, you guys came to mind. So it's a crappy video. I probably should have done more, but my adrenaline was kind of running. I won't lie. Uh, I was getting mega by, uh, uh, one of the two strongest people <laughs> in the kingdom and uh yeah it hurt um here's here's a report here i guess we can go over a little bit so um i'm no slouch uh but i am nowhere near this guy right so this guy definitely outclasses me and yes i i lost 114 million and he lost 99 um and i won right i won because the percentage of my troops that lived were still higher than his right so percentages matter in the game so that's why uh, personally the whole victory thing doesn't really matter um too much at least not to me and i'll go into some other stuff kind of explain a little bit but uh um yeah uh lost two million troops uh most of that went into the sanctuary which is what i've been healing and uh and here's my stats versus his stats so you'll you'll see you know uh, uh like i said i'm infantry you know defense and health base so 2800 so that i can take hits from guys like him um and, and survive at least one hit right so i took at least one hit from him and uh, uh i survived um i was hurt afterwards but uh pretty much everything but my uh uh my t10s and t11s were uh uh were killed for infantry wise and I had something like 2 million infantry and uh, most of that was all gone. Um, I probably could have taken one more because I did have like 400,000 T11s and the way I have my war talents. But I would have lost a lot of other troops also and uh, it just wouldn't have been worth it. Since I already had most of my uh, sanctuary uh, filled up, it would have just hurt even more. Um, as you can see, I have 1.4 but when you're fully... Uh, everything boosted and everything is is uh uh changed um you can have more than that you can have up to two million and uh that's where i had it at that moment um i probably have a screenshot here somewhere of it but it's probably on my phone but it's uh it's gonna be a slow process uh for me to heal back because everything is in sanctuary i've already pretty much healed everything uh besides that out um i, I have like a million a little bit over probably a little bit over a million uh, uh infantry left so at yeah, 1.2 million infantry now that i've healed out so i still got probably about six seven hundred thousand infantry to go out um i had one million of uh each of the distance and the cavalry so i do have to retrain a bunch of that but it is what it is right we it was a good fight um here i'll, I'll go over some of our uh uh some of our things here um this is uh celeste uh she's gonna have a different name 
in the report clearly, but uh, she's one of my R4s, and uh, uh, it's my girl. Um, she is, a, I think she's a C33 or C32, um, and she has pretty good stats. She is one of our bigger ones, so I've asked her to share the reports just so you guys can see um, that having someone like Kingfish over here attacking you is... It's not the end of the world. You can win versus something like that. It, it's going to hurt. But remember, when they attack you, um, your troops, you know, get wounded and get put into sanctuary. Theirs die. You know, de depending on the airship and some other stuff, some of theirs will live. But most of theirs is going to be a straight loss. Most of hers went straight into sanctuary and into our hospital. Um, but here's the first hit. And yes, it's a huge loss. But... Most of it is going to be two T2 infantry, so she has a huge infantry wall. Um, and she's already healed back a lot of it already as it is. Um, so it's not not that big of a deal. But as you can see, he lost the full march, which the hem that was 45 million power. She lost a bunch of small infantry units, which was 34 uh, million power. He's completely at the loss here. His stats are drastically different than hers. She still had 2 million troops survive. You know, he had 110k left, you know, from uh, from everything. But, here you go. He beats her out by 1,400, uh, I mean by 400 stats in most of her all troop stats. If you look at, you know, just the individual uh, uh, stats, he wins by some of them close to, you know 900 uh in some of the stats and she's a beast don't get me wrong she <laughs> she puts in work uh uh every kill event she puts in work and she knows what she is doing but and she had no one reigning her normally we would have her reigned but uh somehow he found her in the middle of nowhere and decided to get her um they probably have a spy in our alliance or something like that but that's just the way the game goes right uh and there you go. Stats wise, has her beat out, but as you can see, doesn't mean anything. He lost. Here's a second one. He hit her twice. He hit her twice, and he lost both of both of them, right? He lost 36 mil, and she lost 63. Yes, it's more over here, but. She still had a lot more troops surviving, and it's all a percentage type thing, right? So she had that all there. But most of hers is going to heal. His are just going to die. And that's what it is. Right? So look at the stats. Look at what happens. I'm like, you, you, you can't be fearful uh, uh, about all that. Um, and she had it messed up too, as he points out there in chat. She had the, she had jewels in there still, right? So she lost some of her, uh, uh, you know, benefits because she didn't have the full setup. So it's it's one of those things that that it probably would have went better for her with it. But either way, she still won. She took two hits from potentially the strongest guy. It's it's uh, Kingfisher Cass, who's in our alliance, are the strongest people in the kingdom. And she took two hits from him. Believe me, he was not happy about it. He was just like, what the fuck? Um, she was trying to retrain troops because we're in the middle of the kill event. Um, and, you know, that's just the way things happen there. Um, caught her off guard in the middle of nowhere. And uh, and I've done it before. I've sent people out before to, hey, uh, scour everything. I want to find this person. They're not in the hive. And we'll just go out, we'll find them, and then one of us will port over and do something like that. So that just gives you an idea of something like that happening where where uh, uh, you can become uh, you can become a victor. You just need the troop count, right? I don't recommend that for everyone. You do have to have some type of a decent stat, you know, to actually be able to maintain. If you have 1,500 stats and, you know, he has 3,000s, then he's more than double deal. You're just... Don't take that hit, okay? Bubble up, do what you have to do. Uh, but here's, you know, some of our, our, our hits here. So uh, this is us attacking uh, one of their C40s. And she, Kingfish and Cass are probably one and two when it comes to stats. And uh, uh, Jazz is definitely number three. Um, 
she's she's definitely in uh one of the top three people for statistically wise in the, in the kingdom um and you know it is what it is but at the end of the day uh we were able to use you know one of their weaknesses they they have one of their players in their alliance that we really kind of don't like and just, don't get me wrong, the kid is good, right? He knows what he's doing for the game. I, he's a little turd, but he knows what he's doing when it comes to attacking. So I, I give him props to everything that he does there, right? He's, he's annoying. His stats are nowhere near as strong as a lot of our players, but he knows our weak players. And my weak players, for some reason, don't bubble up, and he will take full advantage of that, and he will get them. He will get them. He zeroes the same people all the time. And his troops, you know, I'll come back to this in a second. But, you know, he's he's the number one killer in our kingdom. And it's annoying. And a lot of that's going to be because of, of you know, my troops. I, I'm not going to lie. A little annoying turd. And I think his highest stat is like 2,000. And uh, uh, here's, you know, two of us. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, I, I can lead a horse to water. But, you know can't make him drink right so let's go back to uh to this over here so this is one of our megas on on jazz we tried to mega her twice but like i said we were able to we froze her when she went over there and she was frozen for two hours um bk comes on and he starts hitting all the smalls uh this was a this was a very personal uh kill event war i guess uh, we hate each other for the most part. REU hates POF and they hate us right back. Um, so we decided to take it all out, right? So she wanted to get a lot of kills. Uh, and it is what it is. Um, she came in for it. BK started hitting all the small. She, I, 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 I guess something happened there. Cause I even asked BK and BK, uh, was like, yeah, I convinced her to drop her bubble. And uh, she did. As soon as she dropped her bubble, and as you all know, it's 30 minutes before you can bubble again. And we took full advantage of that. So we knew that he, he has a, the possibility of getting on her nerves. He probably gets on her nerves more than anyone else and makes her do all kinds of bad things just because he gets on her nerves. And well, we were counting on that, and it happened. And... Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to get people to get on to, to mega her. So, you know, once that happened, we were we were on top of it. And, uh, you, you know, you at least five minutes for the mega and probably a couple minutes for the march. Um, and this was the first hit. Um, we did lose a lot on this hit right here, but we're okay with that. You know, you, you have to be able to sacrifice troops in order to take care of some of their bigs because if you're able to zero a C40, it's very, very hard for them to get back, you know, up to their power level on troop without having to spend money. She'll spend money, but that's a win to us, right? Uh, you, if we're making you spend money, it's all good, right? That's still a win for us. It's, it's a win, for, I guess, for GOG, right? Because they make more money, but that's always been for us is a good thing. Um, they don't have the farms. They don't have the RSS that we do. Um, we probably have 50 times more than they do. But don't get me wrong. They're still hard fighters. You know, much respect to them to this war. They did lose. In my opinion, they lost. And uh, it is what it is. So she still had 2.3 you know, million troops left to go. We did kill off 1.7. All of that was mostly her infantry. And... Uh, she would have just got her next hit would have just zeroed her out you know that's that's for sure so let me go our philosophy of game and our alliance versus their alliance are completely different uh we're more of a teaching alliance and an alliance of unity um don't get me wrong they're friends and they like each other but they're not there a lot of them aren't fighters they do have some fighters but a lot of them don't like to lose troops and if they do they want to make a minimal loss um so it is what it is let me get down to hers all right here she is and as you can see most of her infantry was you know kind of gone um 
She had very little. Actually, she had nothing survived, right? Everything, everything was dead. Um, we did mega her one more time. Unfortunately, we were like a minute short as the second mega is going off, and you see it marching across to her, and there's like a minute left. She bubbled the second one, so she the timer ran out for us, and uh, if that didn't happen, she was gone. Right. So that was the first mega that we did, and we did that one on Jazz. Um, here's the one against Kingfish. So this is the two strongest guys in the kingdom for sure. Uh, there, there is no doubt of you know who the two strongest are. These are the two strongest. Cass is ours, and Kingfish is uh, is is theirs, right? Um, it's it's probably a one A to one B type thing, right? Uh, uh, they're they're right there. Um, as you'll see, you know, statistically wise, um, Cass has more all troop and a you know a good amount more all troop uh, than King than uh, Kingfish, but Kingfish does have him beat in individual stats uh, in quite a few things. So it, it a lot of it is just you know. It, it's a back and forth thing, right? So uh, they're pretty even in, in everything else. Um, I'm not going to pick one over the other because I think they, both of them are, are just insane. Um, but we killed one point, you know, about 1.6 mil of its troops. We lost the full march, but we knew that there was a second hit also, and it was similar to this one. And like I, like I said. Uh, we know that we're going to lose, right? We understand that. But you got to understand that this 222 million was divided up between 10 other people, right? So it wasn't a complete loss for everyone in there. Um, this 76 mil loss here, that was all him, right? So this is everything completely lost to him. No one over here individually lost 76 mil. And we took our time in between hits between the mega. So between every single mega, we were healed. We all sped healed and went in there to hit him again, right? So we knew what we were doing. We planned ahead. Um, all of this was already uh, planned out what was going to happen if scenario A, scenario B, et cetera, et cetera. And I had everything planned out and I just coordinated, my, you know, my people for it. Um, I was able to get Cass on and... We did damage. I wasn't able to join the second Mega Rally because, god damn, everyone in my alliance joined it. Um, and by the time I'm trying to send troops over, it's filled. You know, like, what is it? Something like 1.8 million troops, you know, were filled up, like, so quick. And it was just, what can you do? Um, after the second Mega hit, I decided, you know, to try uh, my luck and... Uh, I failed miserably because he still had infantry left. I figured that the first two mags were going to hit him. I didn't think he had that many infantry, but he did. Smartly, he had that many infantry. And uh, it is what it is. A loss is a loss. And, uh, well, I ate the 35 million loss, but I, it really wasn't 35 million after healing. And I had it set up where I only lost probably about half of that. That's still a lot, though, right? Um, it was a, a lot of big hits um, uh, within... Uh, within our war um at the end of the day i feel we came out on top um we had about 15 million power and this is where we're at right now 13.3 um i think they had about 13 billion power so they're down that um and they really haven't regained a lot so i don't know if they're slow healing or anything um but yeah they're they're hurting bad we are too but a lot of people haven't a lot of people haven't relogged on they lost some from UAC, and they still haven't healed either. Um, plus, we've had uh, people breaking naps or breaking Kingdom rules and attacking uh, uh, during Kingdom Peace because they got upset that we hit a couple of other farms, a couple C26 farms at that. But uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, at the end of the day, that C40... Um, we're just going to destroy him. We're going to mega him to death. And he doesn't have a whole alliance behind him like Kingfish did. I'm like, this guy is basically a solo player with a bunch of farms. Because no alliance wants him. He's, he's one of those guys. And uh, it is what it is. Um, the main, I guess, thing of this is uh, don't be afraid of other big castles, right? 
I'm like, you guys seen what Celeste did. You know, she, she's a monster. Um, no matter what you think, no, uh, you think you can't take someone on like that, that has drastically more troops, do something like she did. You're going to take a loss. It is going to hurt. But to them, it's a loss loss. For you, you just heal. You know, and it would have been so much different also if we were reigned. So if we reinforced her, she would have taken, you know, a lot more than that. Hell, let me see. Because I use her all the time. I use her all the time for, uh, uh, for, to set her out. Because she has this ability to antagonize people. And, uh, just beat them out. Alright, so this is our pain in the butt Mustafa here. So... And here she is, that was her name, the Iron Vagina. She's always changing her name, so you have to be on top of that, but you can always tell who she is from her picture. Um, but I was, I had reinforcements in her, right? So at this point, I had a full march, probably like, I think it was like 350, 360 troops, whatever in there. Most of them were T-11s. Um, and this guy's a C-40. She's a C-33. And... Uh, as you can see, he drastically beats her in, in stats. Um, didn't really matter. Once she had the troop count, and this guy just, you know, he hit her twice. And that's little things that we do. We do things like that. All she lost was her T2 uh, infantry. Now, this was expected, so she was on. You know, the two hits that you saw earlier, she was not on. She logged on to those losses. And, you know, that that's bad. It probably wouldn't have been so bad if, if uh, she was on and we would have kind of known about it. Probably sped reindeer or something like that. But, you know, it's little things like that where don't be fearful of people with, with uh, big points. Just uh, get together with your alliance. Uh, build up troops. Stay under a bubble for a while if you have to. Um, for some of you that used to be in K181 with us, uh, you'll remember the... RU FTN war and they beat us by a lot of stats, but we stayed under a bubble for about three four weeks Building up stats building up troops and one day was like we're enough. Let's go hit them me and uh, Ace and my alliance went over there and I think I zeroed I don't know 30 people maybe more he zeroed out a bunch of them uh, He was able to on defense catch their strongest player. I don't even want to say his name because that uh, scuba uh, and uh, we caught him on defense a few times. I caught him once and uh, Ace caught him a few times. And he was really mad about that. At the end, uh, we kept on destroying everyone as alliance. And he did not really have farms. He depended on everyone else to, uh, to you know, give him RSS so that he can retrain troops and heal and do everything else. Well, we were destroying all of his uh, source of resources and uh, he couldn't get anything back. Same philosophy we kind of did with... Uh, uh, POF recently. They they do have people that have farms, but they don't have them like us. And if you destroy their 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 ways of making RSS, they can't heal. They can't regroup as fast as us. If if we wanted to be completely a holes, we could have continued on the war and just kept on hitting them and hitting them. And I'm pretty sure we would have won. You know, would have made it even worse. But we don't want to kill the kingdom. It was a kill event thing. We all agreed upon that. That's what happened. Uh, but Anyways, at this point, uh, it's late now. I'm going to publish this last video, but uh, peace out, my people. Have fun. Are you strong?